Hi students, good evening. Uh, the next thing that we are going to discuss is regarding again the adjusting entries. Okay, in the adjusting entries in the previous lectures we have discussed about the depreciation. The next thing that we will discuss is the concept of the bad debts. Okay, so what is the concept of the bad debts? Okay. We will discuss the basic concept of the bad debt, then how to write off the bad debt directly, and then we will go for the concept of the provision. Okay. Bad debt simply means what that you have sold the goods as a business to someone, and then after some time you are unable to receive the money from the customer. Why you are unable to receive the money from the customer? Because the person has become the your customer is insolvent or the person who is a customer is a bankrupt or maybe the person died or became insane or due to any other reason you are unable to recover the amount from that person so that is the bad debt bad debt is simply the loss for business so the loss for business because you are unable to recover the money from the customer so the customer may be bankrupt or it may be due to the, the customer is insolvent or some time if the person is the single owner and due to the death of the person you are unable to receive the money or there may be the person become insane. So in all these or there is a possibility also like a fraud also sometime customer is purchasing a goods with the intention not to pay the money okay the person may be fraud the customer may be fraud so these are the some of the major reasons for the matters so we have a two methods here the first option is the simply write off the write off the bad debts means you have to receive the money from the customer but you are unable to receive the money so you have to write it off so for example the business there is an account receivable uh, let's say the debtor is there you have sold the goods to debtor let's let's say the mr x is there okay and the sale account is credit let's say we are making a transaction of three thousand okay now this is what this is the receivables the business has made the sales on the credit basis so account receivable or debtor is debit and the name of the customer is what that is the x and then the sale account is credit for 3000 okay what will the duration of that sold goes on credit now for example on the 31st after december when the year is closing the financial year is ending you understood or you got the information that the person recorded as a bankrupt or the person is insolvent or due to the death of the person or due to insanity of the person you are unable to receive the money so that is why that is the bad debt so bad debt expense will be debit 3000 and then the account receivable the debtors which debtors the mr x that is credited by 3000 so bad debts recorded So this is a very simple thing that the person is the customer you sold the goods to the person for three thousand dollars and then later on the person is unable to pay due to the fraud bankruptcy insolvency death or the insanity so you are unable to receive the money so you recorded the directly bad debts now the other option is that that we may create a provision provision for what for doubtful debts now, doubtful debts means sometime we have a possibility that last year for example out of 100,000 one person or two person customer has not given the money and they are bankrupt or insane or insolvent so this year this also can happen so that's why you are creating a provision for the doubtful debts that these debts are doubtful or maybe due to the aging of the 
receivable. Aging of the receivable means that, if, for example, you sold the goods to the customer, let's say, at three months back, but the time period, the credit term is 30 days. So it means it is almost 90 days that you are unable to receive the money. The person has to give the money after 30 days, but you are unable to recover the money. So it means there's a chances, there's a possibility that it will be a doubtful debt. You will not be able to recover the money. So in that case, we have to create a provision. Provision is what? Provision is simply a contra asset account. This is what? This is the contra asset account. <laughs> So we have a receivables, we have a debtors, and this is what this is the contra asset account. Asset is what that receivable is the asset, but here we are unable to recover some of the money, let's say 1000, 2000, whatsoever is the money. So that will be contra asset account. So the provision for doubtful debts, or we can also call it as a uncollectible debts, the uncollectible debts, or the provision for the uncollectible or the provision for the doubtful. So this word can be used interchangeably. Now, for example, if you have an account receivable, the account receivable control account is there. Let's say the balance is, we assume like a 30,000 balance is there on the 31st of the December. <clears throat> and you think that the provision should be at 2%. Means the last year what happened, the customers are unable to pay, almost 2% customers are unable to pay the money. So, but they are still doubtful. You are not sure that they will not pay, but there is a chance that they will not pay almost how much? 2%. And how you calculate it? Again, it is a simply an estimate on the basis of the past experience or on the basis of the time which is overdue. So you assume that is almost like a 2% customer will not give the money. So this is how much 30,000 into 2%. So this is almost $600. There's a possibility that you will not be able to recover. So for this $600, we have to create a provision. So we will create a simple account of the provision for doubtful debts. For how much? 600. What will be the entry for that? So we will first record the entry. For example, the entry is on the 31st December of 2021. So we will write simply like a bad debts account debit. Bad debt expense will be debit. How much? 600. And the provision account. Okay. Provision for doubtful debts basically. So that is 600. So it is credit and the bad debts will be debit. So we have a credit balance here for the provision. So how we will write in the books of the account means in the statement of financial position, we will write account receivable in the current assets. That is how much? 3000 zero, 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 less the provision it is 600 so it means the balance will be almost 29,400 so in this way we will record the provision so the bad debts will be debit and the provision for doubtful debts will be credit so the bad debt account will be written in the books of the account as the expense and then the provision will be written as the as we said it is a contra asset account so the asset Account receivable is 30,000, provision is 600, so 29,400, there is a chance that this money will be recovered. So this is how we create the provision. So now the very first thing you should understand, the provision is just an estimate. Estimate about what? That there are chances that the customers will not give the money to the business. So there is a chance that it will be a bad debt, but still it is not sure. So that's why you are writing what? You are writing the 
doubtful debts. You are creating the provision for doubtful debts. And how it is written in the books of the account means in the balance sheet. So 30,000 account receivable less the provision of 600. So in the books of the account, in the financial statement, statement of financial position, you will write in the balance sheet, the account receivable net balance of 29,400. After reducing the 600 provision, which is the what? Which is the contra asset account. So you have a current asset of 30,000 less provision. So the balance is 29,400 written in the balance sheet as the current asset. Okay. So this is why this is the creation of the provision. In the next topics or in the next lectures, what we will discuss, we will discuss that if there are at the end of the next year, for example, you have a balance of 600 provision. Now there's a chance that the receivable are written off or bad debts are more than 600 or it is less than 600 and then how to create the provision for the next year so stay tuned so we will discuss that one in the next lecture or in the next video thank you very much